Welcome to EOZ TV. I'm Elder. I'm Mrs. Elder. And today we're going to talk about something that's happening both in Ramallah and in Gaza this week. And called, what might that yeah, be? <laughs> it is called the uh, Expo Tech 2016. Let me get to that area over there. It's a, um, it's a high-tech expo. It's um, very similar to what you might see at the Javits Center in New York or uh, in various places in Israel. They have these things. These I'm days. amazed. They yeah. seem so oppressed over there. Yeah. <laughs> they have an expo? Yeah, they have a whole expo called Palestine Technology Week 2016. I thought this was very interesting. It's literally starting right now. It's starting on uh, like Sunday night, Monday morning this week. Um, and you could just go to their website, expotech.ps. You can see that... Uh, you know, for the exhibitors, they have two sections. They have a West Bank section, which is in a hotel in Ramallah, and they have a Gaza section. So it's happening in both places. Um, so I decided to look at this a little bit more and see what's going on on their expo. Um, Please do tell. Yeah, like, for example, here's a video that uh, they came out with last year. We'll show the first, uh, you know, half minute or so. Wow, the oppression. Yeah, yeah, it's terrible, isn't it? Yeah. This is a concentration camp. Yeah, I know. Like they claim that yeah. they live in. Yeah. <laughs> so. um, and the pictures that we're seeing right now are definitely taken in the uh, Gaza part. This oh, how not, cute. Yeah, this is not in Ramallah. This, the, these, are, these are done in Gaza. Um, the reason I know that is because it's, look, this is obviously from last year. And, um, oh, yeah, this is fun, too. They're uh, one of the sections they're talking about. They're talking about, you know, 3G, 4G. That's one of the complaints they have about Israel is that uh, they're not yet allowed to have uh, the faster mobile. But look at the map that's behind their logo over here. Even, I know. Isn't that cool? Even something like this, they have to politicize. And they're saying, you know, hey, look, you know, we're, uh, you know, we own the entire uh, from the river to the sea. It's all ours. Well, I guess we're going to have to fight that because mm -hmm. guess what? You don't. <laughs> yeah, okay. At any rate, but um, if you want to, again, we're talking about, you know, Gaza, which is everybody calls an open air prison. Um, here's like one of the pictures from last year. The um, Ooh, I'm in prison. Ooh, yeah, yeah. ooh look this at how much the, fun uh, I'm having in prison. Yeah, <laughs> this is, uh, um, yeah, so this was um, this, uh, I believe that this person in the middle that everybody's looking at over here is uh, Bo Shack from UNRWA. Um, he's oh, you know UNRWA. he's one of the UNRWA heads of, of Gaza. So um, this picture came from the UNRWA website. They scam the world. I love it. Yeah, yeah, but it's uh, but yeah. Here's what's going on, you know. And here's like you know another picture just and it looks like any you know any technology show that you might quite see impressive. In it looks it looks very nice. Um, here also you know here are the here are the kids the starving kids of Gaza. I know, isn't um, that? Yeah. So. They look really, really, really hungry. Yeah, they, you can see they're just, you know, they have nothing but balloons to eat. Um, <laughs> the, uh, <laughs> they're not staging uh, their, uh, their, their, their warfare over there and things like that. Right, what yeah. can I say? Well, uh, there's one other thing that I thought was interesting. There's another thing that's happening this week besides this expo. Oh, what's um, that? That actually started a couple of days ago. This is, and here's from Mondo Weiss, the, uh, the anti Israel site Mondo Weiss. This is the Global BDS Week of Action to Target Hewlett Packard. Ooh. This is, uh, you know, they decided that Hewlett Packard is just an awful company because it sells things to Israel, and they're claiming that it sells things that, you know, that uh, promote uh, oppression of Palestinians. So they decided this week they're going to do lots of things against Hewlett Packard. How exciting. And you know, uh, I wish these guys would get an education. Yeah. Oh, my God. <laughs> so so HP is, and HP is like, HP stock has been going up continuously. It's done very well. It's actually split up into two companies now. It's Hewlett Packard and Hewlett Packard Enterprise. These guys need to get a clue, I tell you. Yeah, yeah. It like blows my mind. But uh, So they have like the little hashtag of boycott HP and, uh, you know, and they have their own webpage, HP boycott campaign. Here they say the Palestinian youth say, you know, Hey, we hear you have to. This is where the, the the Palestinian youth are saying you have to boycott HP, right? They have oh, to. Oh yeah, of course the youth is saying that. Mm -hmm. So let's look at this other picture from the expo last year. The Amasi <laughs> group over here showing the little kids in front. What's that logo that's over there next to the Intel logo? Gee, I wonder. Does <laughs> it say HP? It says HP. The Amasi group, and there are a lot of pictures from this Amasi group. And there are a lot of pictures, and their HP. They they proudly sell HP stuff. They're not the only company that sells HP. Here's the um, Jaw Jawal Sons is the name of it. Their entire booth is nothing but HP. 
wow. laptops and tablets, desktops. This is in Gaza. I understand where it's at. These these are youth, you know. These are Palestinian youth. Yeah, the bombers. <laughs> right. The uh, and they're no and the problem. killers. Nobody's 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 bombing this HP booth. I don't. I. I <laughs> they're not throwing Molotov cocktails. They're not ripping it down. They're not angry. They're. they're no, they're probably buying an HP so that they can coordinate their efforts and right, yeah. do it against Israel. <laughs> so, exactly. But it's uh, you know, they don't seem to have a problem with HP. I just you know, actually, it's, it's. I thought it's very interesting. That uh, and here's Jamal Sons is the um, the actual company they're they're also sponsoring again this year and uh, they are you know they're an HP reseller I believe they just changed it I, it said before you think maybe Mondal White should get a clue well they know they they have a clue they know exactly what they're doing they're liars but um, I so, know huge liars but it just I just thought it was really funny that the very week that we have this boycott campaign against HP is the very week that HP is being featured in the Palestinian High Tech Expo. I guess they blew it. They didn't coordinate their efforts right <laughs> so, this time. Uh, so obviously this boycott campaign has nothing to do with what's doing what's best for Palestinians and everything to do... No, they're just using it to make money, I guess. Well, yeah, just to, you know, they're using it as an excuse in order to be able to raise money, obviously. Yeah, so, unbelievable. Uh, yep, so I just, I, I just thought this little bit of hypocrisy was a fun thing to make a show out of. Well, I think that's great because I was going to say I always love it when we actually have pictures and we can show the hypocrisy. Yep. And uh, they live for hypocrisy. That's it. That's what it is. So, uh, so everybody. But in the too bad they I've, don't have a Bible that they could follow. That's actually good. Yeah. <laughs> the um, I, I I mean the fact that I have no problem with these high tech high tech shows in in Ramallah. Oh, I think it's Gaza. great that they're doing it. The fact is, is it look at the progression and look at how civilized they have the ability to live. And here's what they're claiming that they don't have. It's and, amazing. And and it goes a little bit beyond that because the Palestinian economy right now is way too heavily dependent on this outside money from NGOs that are mostly anti-Israel NGOs. So, and, and, and there are articles about this in which the money that comes in is actually screwing up the Palestinian economy because they all go to all of these groups and they say, and the only product of these groups are these anti-Israel reports. And they get paid more. They get paid far more. They get paid like Western salaries. So people are gravitating. They, the Palestinians that want to make money love going to these NGOs and like Unro's one of them. But, um, you know, but, you know, I think Amnesty it's time to get a hold for, of Trump and get this stuff <gasps> shut down already. Yeah. This is ridiculous. So, but it's uh, so there. But. It really messes. It, it skews the entire economy because you can't build an entire country or an entire state or whatever they want to build. You can't build it on reports. You can't build it on anti-Israel propaganda. You actually have to do something. The people over here have have the ability or have the you know or at least the the possibility of being able to build. Um, you know, you can do even you know they can do programming remotely. They could build mobile apps. They can build, they can do programs. Hey, they you're do thinking of nice stuff. things for these guys. All they're interested in doing is acquiring Israel and right. well, hurting I mean, some everybody of them else. There, there are, and, yeah. and I think it's high time we put a stop to there are There are many of them that actually don't care about that. They want to just take care of their families, and they're very happy that some of these expos exist, and they can do what's best for them. Again, do you remember the pictures that we used to show? Oh, my God. Oh, they were so oppressed, and look at the malls that they have. And right, right. Like I know, look yeah, at the right. shows that they have. <laughs> right. I'm appalled. So, the marketing that comes out of UNRWA and all right. these other so you organizations. Won't, and you won't see pictures like this in the media. You're not going to see the New York Times talking about this. You're not going to see... I think we should uh, get the New York Times yeah. shut down, too. <laughs> right. I think it's high time that we go after them, just so, like Trump did. See, but, I said Trump twice. Sorry about that. Yeah, okay. <laughs> so, but it's... Uh, so I just thought this is a you know, very interesting uh, way of seeing what's going on this week. The, the anti-Israel forces outside of the Palestinian territories are extremely anti-HP. The ones that are... The, the Pal actual Palestinian who actually have to live there are the ones that are saying, hey, HP helps make our lives easier. I know. Isn't that amazing? It's great stuff. I At know. any rate, for now, I am Elder. And I'm Mrs. Elder. And we'll see you again next time. Hey, don't forget to donate. Go to our site. We'd love to hear from you. 